Previously on Love and Marriage Huntsville. Melody made this little statement on social media. I know why Marcel didn't have on his ring. I realized that this girl is really not my friend. We were headed out of town. Martel had a phone call to come through. So I answered the phone. There's this chick on the phone. Make sure you get your stuff out today. I'm over all of it. My marriage is definitely in jeopardy right now because of that phone call. I messed up. Look at all the other thousands of things I've done right. Because you continue to mess up. You're a, you're a cheater. You're a serial cheater. You already know that I want a transition with my son down here. I need to bring Kimmy and Kiowa together. Bad idea. There's no reason for your ex-wife and your current wife to meet and have a sit down. Honestly, pray before the meeting. This other woman. She was a peasant. She was a peasant? Yeah. So why go to a peasant to get what your wife didn't have the capacity to give you? I am here because I am considering filing for divorce. Alanda is my beautician, so she takes care of my hair, my stylist, and Alanda is also Martel's cousin. However, they've really known each other as long as I've known her, but still, at the end of the day, she's Team Melody all day. So what are we doing today? Well, girl, honestly, I just want a little, like, oomph bump going on with it. You know what I mean? Okay, you want some height or something mm -hmm. going on? I remember when we first did this look. I know. Yeah. You know, when I like something, I like yeah, it. Yeah, you've been holding on to this look for a long time. Yeah. Because yeah. I like it. People started coming to you asking for they what? Did. What did they call it? The melody. Thank you. Now I used to be like, I don't want to do it on anyone else. <laughs> I guess it's all right for people to like something on somebody else and want to have it. Yes. As long as it ain't your man, honey. As long as it ain't your man. OK, so what do that mean? Well, um, I told Martel that he needs to get out. Really? Mm-hmm. Girl, he ain't going to change. I feel like if you can do that to me and continuously hurt me, then I don't need to be with you. So you're at your breaking point? I really am. He's a liar, Alanda. Talking about, I ain't talked to nobody in five months. And then she just called me out the blue. Mm -hmm. I don't really care. The way I'm feeling right now, Martell and I are done. It's over. He's done me wrong for the very last time, and he needs to get out. So why this time? What made you get to the point you're like, OK, this mm -hmm. it? The last chance was the last chance. Right. So I'm going to file for my divorce. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If Martel tries to contest the divorce, pretty much he'd be forcing my hand to prove my case, prove the facts, and I don't think he wants to do that. So I kind of feel like that's some leverage that I have in terms of making him go through with an uncontested divorce. The way me and you looking in this mirror right now while you do my hair, a woman that's sitting around continuously Taking bull crap is not the woman I want looking back at me. Coming at you like a wave. I got what it takes. I'm giving you the thunder when they only want rain. I'm rising up to the top top. I ain't never gonna drop drop. Hey babe. Hey, sweetie, what up? What you doing? Getting my books for class. Yay! That starts tomorrow. Mm. Ready? Mm-hmm. If I'm gonna get some more of that. <laughs> What's that got to do with school? I don't know. I want to order books, make you say <laughs> yay and kiss me. Are you excited? This is like the back end of your deal. Yeah, man. Six classes left. Yay. Been a long road. Have you talked to your monster lately? I've talked to him, and he's supposed to go to Michigan State, and they have like a little camp. So he's going to go to a little camp after he gets out of school before you get him this summer? Yeah. Oh, so we won't see him till the middle of June or so? <laughs> End of June, like really, like last week of June. Yeah. That's just less time that you get this summer, right? I'm well. When we say less time that we get this summer, I'm hoping to get him. I want Monster here. I want Maurice to have him full time. 
but I don't want to raise another child by myself. Jalen's grown and I've done that. I don't always know if you know how much it takes to actually raise a baby 365 days a year. A baby's a full-time job. However, a 12-year-old A grown not. man is a full-time job. <laughs> I need to call him to find out the specific date because I still got to get his tickets and everything. Hey, Monster, what's up? You got your computer? Okay. Your mom's setting up the FaceTime? She's going to set it up on her computer? Yeah. Okay. You know he needs help by his mother, so you're going to have to talk to me as well. How is he supposed to join you? Sent you an invite. What's the attitude for, Kyle? You know he needs help. He doesn't know nothing about this. What are you talking about? All right. All right. Maybe I should call you back at another time when you're feeling better. Was she expecting y'all to call today? I told her that I was going to reach out to him, but I don't understand being upset. Since I've been talking about Monster living here with me, talking to Kiowa has been increasingly difficult. I just don't get it. I kind of get it. Huh? I kind of was where Kiowa was with Jalen, mm -hmm. to have a conversation that you're going to leave here every day to go live with your dad, that would have been a pretty touchy conversation for me, too. I understand the nurturing um, that a child needs, especially when they're young. But he needs to be around his dad as he grows into a man. I'm not in disagreement with that, honey. However, I'm talking from a mother's perspective. You're not understanding how it feels to a mother. And it feels like you're taking my son away. How does it feel as a father? Well, I get that. I'm saying this feels the exact same thing. But you're the one who left Michigan. Right. You could have stayed in Michigan while he was small. That's true. And we had an understanding that as he got older, that he was going to live with me. Middle school, the same. I agree. Those formative years where you're transitioning from a boy to a man, that's when the transition is going to happen. I don't disagree, Maurice. I don't interfere with issues when it comes to Monster because it's been very rocky as far as her acceptance of me now in the picture. Quite frankly, I think the marriage made it a little worse. Um, it definitely has to change in order for this blended family to work. And I'm not saying that I don't understand where you're coming from. I'm saying that, listen, this position is still the same as a father. So we'll get it figured out as the adults. See, the kids are the ones that shouldn't have to suffer, though. I don't disagree with you. But I'm not the one that needs convincing. Things with Melody and I, they're getting better. You know, I told Melody that I'm receiving therapy from Dr. Francis. She sees I'm owning what I need to change. So Melody will let me move upstairs in the doghouse, as one would call it, but I'm cool with that for right now. Um, so I'm gonna do everything I can to get back downstairs. Yo, Martell, I'm here. Yo, Martell. What's up, I'm in here. Uh, took you bro. long enough. What up, bro? Yeah. yeah. Neville's been my friend for about 12, 13 years. He was a photographer at my wedding, and I definitely trust him. Over the past few months, Marcel have said some things that I definitely didn't agree with, but I don't think Neville would do anything like that. So what's going on, man? Man, just going through um, a few little issues with, you know, in, in the household. Me and Mel trying to get some things worked out. She was saying, move out. <laughs> move move out. out, or then she gave me the option of moving upstairs. Wow. So I took the ladder, so I'm upstairs. But, I mean, why are you upstairs? Well, you know our, our entire situation, well, about the infidelity and stuff like that. So it's been, I guess, over five months, six months since I've had any conversation with this person. Mm -hmm. But this past weekend, she just called out the blue, man. While Mel and I were on our way to Atlanta. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. I should have changed my number, and I didn't. And she still had access to me. Did Mel um, ask you to change your number? Yes. She so asked me to change my number you? a long time ago. <laughs> so why didn't you? Because I'm thinking that this girl ain't gonna call me, and she did. So the question I've been wanting to ask you is, what enticed you? Thinking I can do whatever I want to do. That's it. 
I felt entitled. Like Leaving that power like, like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I was the person pulling up in a Lamborghini and women right here, women right there, just dying to just getting inside the car. You know what I'm talking about? I flew her places, you know? I got cribs and uh, put her places and did whatever I wanted to do. You feel me? Because I could and it made me feel good. This side girl, and she put me on a pedestal. And I mean, I felt important. And, uh, you know, God really placed that challenge in front of me and I failed. Now, my question is, where do you see you guys going from here? Because now you're upstairs. Next thing, you may be out the door. You're gonna have to, I mean, set a plan. What's gonna be your next move, man? My next move? Yeah. To write this, to reassure her. Well, I mean, I guess first thing, I'm, uh, I'm changing my number. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're gonna continue doing, I mean, because we've been good, except for this phone call. We've yeah. been good. You know, I'm home at a good hour every yeah. day. Yeah. You know, I mean, she know my whereabouts. Conversation on the phone. I'm seeking counseling. Um, I'm done, and I know I'm done. Yeah. I choose to be with my wife, with my children, and and have a family. Mm -hmm. I mean, I choose to. I mean, those are the people that, that I'm putting first now. You know what I'm talking about? Nothing in between. That's what I really wanted to hear because you know, I mean, I pray for you guys constantly. You know, I ain't never stop praying. Coming up on Love and Marriage Huntsville. Martell and I are covering the power couple issue of I Push Magazine, but power couple doesn't mean perfect couple. Bye, Martell Ho. Doesn't always have to be difficult, though. People co-parent all the time. It's kind of hard to co-parent with somebody you love who's moved on and you're still okay. there. There's an issue. Apparently, you have been saying negative things about Martell. You were mentioning certain things about my infidelity. Almost as if y'all ain't cheated with 20 women. What the you talking about? I'm done. She cheated all her food besides the bread. Eat the bread too, Leah. I'm not full. Yeah, because you'll be the main one running around the house talking about, I want a yogurt, I want a jello, I want an applesauce. So I'm like, girl, you just ate. Right. Mm, yuck. Hey. Are y'all glad to be out uh -uh, here? Uh-uh, don't do that. You're going to food on the floor. Even though I'm considering divorce, it's still crucial to me that things around the house seem pretty much the same for the kids. They have to grow up one day, and I don't want them to, to look back at mommy and daddy being in arguments. I think it can... You know, it can play a part in that, that psyche, you know, when it can make them angry and bitter and things of that nature. So it's, it's best for us to keep things like this away from them. Malia, you want to say a special prayer? No, sure. Mm. You do, son? All right, let's go, go son. Ahead, Good son. job. Go ahead, son. Thank you for this day. Thank you for our family, our friends. And I'm glad we're having a good day. And I bless my mom and my dad. And I bless the family. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for this. All right, guys. Let's go brush your teeth. When Tank leads the prayer, putting mommy and daddy name in there, it makes me feel that we need to get our together. I know the kids always sense whether something is good, bad, or indifferent. And Martell, he's the first person to notice when something is wrong, too. So, you know, I definitely know that they sense something that's, that's wrong. <clears throat> Love you, okay? Okay. All right. You spit on my face. Oh. <laughs> See you in the morning. Okay? Give daddy a hug, son. Ah! Love you, all right? Everybody. Have a good night. Yeah. You too. All right. All right, good night. Well, I'm about to go to the room and start getting my stuff together for I push tomorrow. All right, cool. In the morning, we're driving to Birmingham for a big event. I push Magazine is unveiling their power couple issue with us on the cover. It's an honor, but I don't know. I feel like it's kind of like bittersweet just because Whenever we took the photo and did the article, we were just in such a much better space than where we are now. So it's definitely bittersweet. I do find myself having to be different ways with different people at different times, having very little time to really get into my feelings. And what I'm able to do that, it hits hard. I think so. you need to stop reflecting so much and just keep doing just like your husband. Because when you think, you think about all that crazy stuff that brings us problems. That's why I be getting all them you crazy You said my messages. thoughts brings us problems? It has me. You That's... said my thoughts is what brings it, us problems? It has me. But go ahead, though, babe. Sorry oh, to interrupt. I love wow. you. What's up, babe? 
Mel. What's up? What's up? What you wearing? I'm not sure yet. I'm trying to decide. Okay. Got to make sure that we coordinate like we always do. I'm not too fun anymore on all that coordinating clothing-wise. I weather for things to be coordinated within the house. Okay? I mean, okay. So. We getting there. We working on that. In situations like this, the options for any marriage, together, separated, or divorced, those are options. Or upstairs, right? We're not going to get a divorce. So it's like we don't have to... <clears throat> we don't have to speak about a divorce right now. You know? Tell you what, I'm going to wear what I choose to wear, and you go pick out you something to wear. And if it happens to coordinate, it happens coordinated. Bye, Martell Hope. So it's going to be between. <laughs> Babe, is that gold and black? So I'm going to get me two outfits together, OK? All right, love you. The gym for me is really a place where I can physically put my mind in control of my body. In order to be successful, you need that. It's definitely my zen time. <sighs> What's up, Yo, man? You straight? Messing up the flow, what up, who? What you got today? Shoot, man, back, thighs. Throw a plate on there for me. All right. Sadark is one of my really close friends. We went to college together. He played football at the Alabama a University. And afterwards, we just hung around. He's from Huntsville, by way of Seattle. Do I need to take the weight down for you? No, I'm good, bro. Oh, Robot Stack Run, man, looking good over there. You guys are getting those houses together. Oh, no, well, no, you actually, you know, that's the hoax right now. Oh, that was a comeback group thing. Well, still under the comeback umbrella, but are we gonna operate in our own lanes? Mel said that. that was, I feel it's a good idea. What you mean? They're experts in residential home building. Right. right, we, right. We're, we're better in commercial and recently better in credit repair. So it was kind of convoluted with all of us trying to tell them what to do in the area where they're the experts at. Why not us just separate? So that must have been where the issue came in then, something like that. No, no, no there was no issue. Well, there's there's a, no, 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 there's an issue. I just bumped into Tails in the gym the other day. I hired him real quick. You bumped into Martel? In here, who's over here working out? Okay. I asked him about the houses, how's everything's going, and he let me know that <laughs> things were going the right direction, Right. But there was a little issue between you two. Between me and Martel? Uh, apparently, you have been saying negative things about him related to how the business started. Well, y'all had a whole cup of tea, didn't you? I mean, we talked for a little minute. Good That's Lord. Like I'm pretty surprised to learn that Martel has an issue with me, and I'm even more surprised that I learned about this issue through Sadari. It's kind of taking me off balance a little bit when I'm hearing it through hearsay, just because I thought everything was good. At what point did you become the guy that people go to with problems? You're normally the problem starter. Fair, that's fair, that's fair. Yeah. And next time y'all have a tea party, let me know. Good Lord, y'all had all tea and crumpets, ain't said nothing to me. <laughs> no damn crumpets. You wanna listen to some music? Nah, no music. At all? None. Man, so you wanna spend this hour and a half road trip? No music. In silence. Sometimes you can think better whenever it's silent. I'm really not looking forward to this car ride to the I Push magazine release party with Martel. At this point, I have a lot on my mind. Plus, last time, we tried to take a trip. I answered the phone, and now our marriage is up in the air like the clouds are up in the air. So what did you do the other day for therapy? Mm, yeah, I did. <clears throat> and it went well. Really? Have you been working on yourself? Uh, I have. How? trying to dissect the person that I am mm. and why I'm like that. I'm still trying to get things figured out. Mm. I think it's great that Martell is going to therapy so that he can try to work through his issues. And honestly, I kind of feel like Martell is a narcissist, so. Hey, you've told me that several times, but He I... looked it up and he said mm -hmm. what? What I said was, man, these are the traits that everyone has right here. Yep. Everybody's See, a narcissist. That's a narcissist thing. You're a narcissist. You're a narcissist. You're a narcissist. You're a narcissist. Everybody's a narcissist. Not everybody. Everybody. OK. I really want to be the man you want me to be. I want you to be the man that you want to be. 
Well, but my thing is the person that I want to be might not be the person that you want me to be. So I'd much rather be the person that you want me to be. I'd much rather you be the person that you can smile at when you look in the mirror every day that your children can look up to when they see you and as they get older. I'm Period. With you. Me. Martell and I have always been able to put personal aside to handle business. When it's game time, it's game time. So you ready? Most definitely. Now, when we get back in the car, I still may want to go off a little bit more. Yeah, well. Lord, please do not allow anything to take place to make me cry. Coming up on Love and Marriage Huntsville. You guys are exemplifying what a healthy relationship looks like. What do you do to keep things moving? I'm going to let Melody answer that, too. How do you know? I can make ooh, a phone call. Many. And they're going to have a lot of detector tests. I'm not even engaging none of this bull Or do you want him to be invited? Come on, man. Come on. Melody and I, though we're not on the same page, we're not seeing eye to eye, but we know what's important, and that's us being featured on this I Push magazine. So we're gonna stick it out and we're gonna make it happen. The reason we're here, we wanna celebrate them. So help me welcome right now, everybody make some noise for Martel and Melody Hope. How are you all feeling today? We're doing very well. We're just so excited about all the love from Birmingham. Like, we love y'all. We feel the support. We love it. We're excited. I know you've seen it on social media. You may have gotten some of the pictures back. But I think it's time that we show them the actual oh, magazine. Oh, God. Oh. All right. Awesome. Woo, I like that with a power duo. Woo. It's amazing. So we can let you leave here with this size. You know what I'm saying? We want to present you all with this. Oh, man. So if you can take this home and hang it up. Nice. That's nice. People look up to us. You know, we inspire other people. Um, really not even trying to. It's great for other young African Americans to see an African American couple being in business together, growing family together. But one thing that can't be misconstrued, power couple doesn't mean perfect couple. You guys do a very good job of, of exemplifying what a healthy relationship looks like, you know, and really feels like as well. How do you do that? Yeah. What do you do to keep things moving? The I'm gonna let Martell answer that. I'm gonna let Melody answer that too. <laughs> He's so funny. Having to uphold things publicly while you're dealing with things at home, it can be very stressful. Sometimes you sort of feel stuck and trapped. So for Martell, it's probably very easy for him Babe, okay. to just go on. And I can't on, say that. Because he's not having to deal with the things that I'm emotionally and mentally having to deal with, right? So it's easier. I'm not saying any of that. OK. I think we can agree no marriage or relationship is perfect. It's work every single day. Every day is work. Um, but it's about the commitment and the loyalty and the desire to make it work by putting God first and trying your best as possible to follow the path that he wants you to be on. Absolutely. Amazing. We'll see clap it up that. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. <laughs> My next and last question is, which is for you? What criteria did you go by? What crazy sign said yes? <laughs> That's her. Well, I, I feel that, that God really set us together. You know, back in college, um, I just knew she was the one. It wasn't about business. It wasn't about um, just even the future or anything like that. It's about, I feel, that God put us together at that particular time. I mean, as simple as that. Yeah, simple. When we first got together, one would say love at first sight. But I feel that the more a relationship grows, you grow a different type of love for a person. Um, it's almost like, I might not like you today, but I still love you. Do you still love me? 
Like you said, I may not like you. Do you love me? I do love you, yes. Uh, all right, that's it, let's leave right there. She loves me. You know what they say, behind every black man is a what? Black, black woman. All right, and obviously you got one behind you. <laughs> Beside me. Beside you. Yeah, my boy. I'm doing really good. If you got three pluses and 20 negatives, you know, we gotta just. I got a long ways to go. Got a long ways to I go. understand. And I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to it? I'm looking forward to getting more positives. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Gee whiz. Okay. Birmingham is really showing up and showing out, and we're so excited that you guys thought enough of us to want us to grace the cover of this issue. So, I mean, you guys are amazing. Coming up on Love and Marriage Huntsville. Maurice and them are talking about getting monster full time. There were some negatives that happened that led to a divorce. That doesn't stop feelings, that doesn't stop emotions. And all that, you taking my kids, I'd kill you. Since we've been married, um, trying to get mommy's house done and mommy's staying with us for a little while, I haven't had much time to get out and do stuff. So I love getting together with my girls, letting your hair down, chilling out, not have to worry about drama or dirty underwear in the corner. Happy yeah. belated birthday. Yeah, yeah. So you didn't even want to do anything. anything. I was waiting right. on a text, like for real, for real. She didn't say one thing, so I assumed that you would have a visitor. And that'd be it. Oh. <laughs> so did you have a good birthday? Well, she's still smiling on Friday. Yeah, that's yeah, it's up. <laughs> Millie is my new sister-in-law. She's just like her brothers. It's like a little Maurice with hair and dimples. I love her. She has a big heart, just like her brothers. Has you anything know, changed? Vegetable. Like, you know we dated forever. I know, yeah. but I'm just saying, sometimes when people get married, like, things change. You know, mommy stayed with us for a while. We got married August the 25th, and my first conversation with Maurice was that his mom was moving in on August the 27th. So, we didn't get to run around the house butt naked. That's so what I'm trying to say. Butt naked now? <laughs> we do a little naked. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> when is naked gonna be over? Why would it have to be over? What's monster coming? Uh... <laughs> He comes in June. He said something to him the other day, like, hey, son, how you doing? What you getting into? Did you do your homework? Your teacher said you ain't did. I said, you are a <laughs> buzzkill. <laughs> <laughs> like, at what My point, your baby not even going to want to talk to you on the phone. <laughs> but you know, Maurice wants him here permanently, permanently. So look, here's a couple of issues. Would you be able to let Kaysen go live with his dad? See your face? <laughs> so we've been mulling that idea over and trying to come up with different scenarios. Hey! I'm running late for girls' night because I had a meeting. After my meeting, I had to go home and change. I didn't want to wear business professional to the club. Y'all look, look nice! Yes. Okay, okay. So do you! I'm jealous! Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> Forget that and all of the pretty <laughs> stuff. I'm gonna bring you up to what, he, what this chick over here talking about. Maurice and them are talking about getting monster full time. That's why they need to have that sit down. You think Kai was gonna do that? I don't think if so everybody is selfless stop. about the situation Girl, and they're it. only thinking about the baby, then I think it's possible. Well, right? I feel like I'm in the middle, terribly in the, in the middle. As a mom, I get how she feels. Everybody's had to deal with co-parenting. The difference is the character of the person when you're trying to co-parent. This is the thing, though. I don't think that the issue is the mom that has to deal with the kid. 
Bruh, you're the new chick. You're the one who gets all the benefits. I told her that. So Tell me what? Like, I was there with Maurice yeah, when he was he struggling. Was he was trying to build his credit. <laughs> he was trying to build his company. Oh, she then feels like that Then he moved to Huntsville, and he lost all that she weight. His like, company is growing. Like then he gets 100%. you. That's why she don't like you. What's that got to do with liking me? Oh, hold on, hold on. Exactly. 110%, you really don't get that? I hear you. However, the downfall of their relationship wasn't him. I understand that there were some negatives that happened, which led to a divorce. That doesn't stop feelings. That doesn't stop emotions. That doesn't stop investment. And then, I ain't trying to be funny. Add all that to you taking my kid, I'd kill you. <laughs> It's just me. <laughs> it doesn't always have to be difficult, though. People co-parent all the time. It's kind of hard to co-parent with somebody you love who's moved on and you're still okay. there. I can't say for sure that she's still in love with Maurice, but Maurice is putting a lot of work with him. You come in, you guys, you're living your best life. It's like, dang, man, all that work I put into him is paying off with her. That's not fair. Coming up on Love and Marriage Huntsville. Act as if you ain't cheated. I haven't. Why would you just let him say that, though? This is my own figure. What do you want to say? Hello? Marty Mar, what up? What's up? You saying hello like you ain't got my number stored in there, more. You better than that. And I haven't heard from you in what months? I feel like I'm chasing a chick, man. I'm like, God, dog, bro. No, man. It's gotta be real with everything. That's all. Seriously. Well, damn, bro. I'm calling you. I'm calling you to say what's up. Hey, but listen, we we, we can talk in person, though, man. Yeah, I'd love to. I'd actually love to. Okay. All right. I'm out here. All right, then, man. Peace. Right. Dark is right, but Martell was definitely upset. The last time we talked, we were on what I thought was good terms, and now all of a sudden, Martell doesn't just have beef. I mean, he has a whole cow. So I know one last thing is gonna be this, um, this fireplace. Okay. We gotta still put this trim right here. Yeah. On both sides. Okay. So. I, mean, I think that's gonna be about it. Uh, looks good overall. Yeah. Just so, a few touches here and there. Yeah. And I so, think we'll be ready to roll. We definitely gonna be ready. Yes. For open house on yes. Wednesday. So Holton Holt bought the Scots out from these two houses off Stag Run. We just didn't have time to be wasting. We had to get these two houses up in an adequate amount of time, and we just don't have time for liars like Marceau. And without that dead weight, the houses are almost ready to be sold. There's gonna be a lot of eyes on these houses. Yeah. So that's the big day. We got a guest list. Well, yeah. I'm hoping that a thousand people don't come out. I'm thinking that we might have <laughs> a thousand not. people. What's up? What up, what up, what up? How you doing? I wasn't expecting you so quickly. What's going but what's up, man? what up, man? How are you? Time no see. Good seeing you, Been man. Been doing all right? Can't complain. Good, Marty good. Marr, what's, what's up, up man? baby? What's up? Yikes. Hey, listen. Yeah. I'm gonna have a discussion with Marcel. Yikes. All right, brother. Sounds so good, I'm, man. Uh, I'll holler at you later. Okay, that'll work. But preparation, man. Oh, it's power. All right, we'll holler at y'all. All right, man. What's up, what's up, man? They even shake hands on the battlefield. You know that, right? Don't matter. This they ain't the shake, battle, they ain't shake the hands after a whole fight. Yeah, I'm with you. All right, so listen, man. By the mind, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting down, chilling with Sadar. OK. Yep. And he's like, he hits me up like, hey, man, you and Martel good. I'm like, yeah, we're good. And he's like, you need to give him a call. I'm like, we're good. How can you tell Sadar that we good? You know we're not good. I, the second I found out it wasn't, you know what I did? You called me. Why? That's what men do. Yeah. Oh, and what, 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 I'm, what, I'm, what I'm sick about is the fact that I had to hear from Sadar and not from Martel. Wow. Yeah. Well, I, must, I must have been pretty bad, whatever I did. No, it's just like all the, the phony stuff. I don't like all the, the talking amongst you. What are you talking about? What, what, help me out with this music. I don't know what you're talking about. I'll take it all the way back to the 47 acres. I mean, I know that's old stuff. I'll take it all the way back there. We've discussed that. No, I you know, but, but, but still, was... that, that, that's fakeness still coming from you. 
I mean, a total fakeness. I go, okay, y'all stole the land. Something, I don't I know, care what. Stole something. Like, what? Okay, okay. And people really, land, and people really I, believe I, that. I said every, there's nothing people that I've really not said. That. Well, it's the truth. And I said it to your face. How, how mad can you be at me? You must want to throw this whole damn friendship away. I understand at times a man might lie to his wife because it's just so much to lose right there when you have a wife and children and things like that. But when you see the need to lie to a friend, you really have a problem then. Cause look, look, let me tell you, you were mentioning certain things about my infidelity. No, I didn't. You're a damn lie. Oh, because man. I took up for your ass on countless occasions. What? Oh, Dude. yeah, bro. Uh, OK, OK. Every time anyone ever said anything, I've always defended you. The word around town is that he has a whole nother boo thing. I'm not going to go convicting my guy of infidelity based on a rumor. You know, we can just pray for their marriage. Like, I'm we, not go, like we go places, you talking about infidelity, your wife talking about the infidelity, like, like at the dinner table and all that kind of stuff, y'all talking about just like making it like it's a joke. Why y'all think that the, the Holtz wouldn't celebrate their 10 years? I think that they said they were too busy. One of them has been a little busier than others. So that might have been a little busy, B. <laughs> My second phone out there. I'm sorry, what? We got two phones. I thought we were done with this. <laughs> Business phone, dude. I got you. Oh. Your wife has got one foot out the door, and, and you've got two phones? You can't have two phones in a non-cheating marriage. <laughs> what you can do is have two phones in a cheating marriage. Lord have mercy. Don't be kicking a horse while he's down. That's another reason I'm Who's mad. kicking a horse while he's down? You. Almost as if y'all ain't cheated or cheating or haven't slept with a 20, 20 women. What the are you talking about? Don't be kicking a horse while he's down. That's another reason I'm Who's mad. Who's kicking a horse while he's down? You. Almost as if y'all ain't cheated or cheating or haven't slept with a 20, 20 women. What the talking about? about? I'm saying you act as if you ain't cheated. I haven't. I know I haven't. Dude. No, I, no, no, you're making a mistake. No, I'm You're not. making a mistake. You know what the bad part about it is? No, no. You get caught up in some stuff. No. And instead of you owning it, I've owned it. You want to act like everybody else is doing it. You do. So how do you know? Oh. Oh, dude. Don't don't ask okay. me that, because I can make oh, I you got can so many make phone what? calls. A phone call? Many. And and, 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 and they'll go have a lot of detective tests. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not even engaging none of this bull. All right. But even more. Well, well, stop talking then. But even well, stop mean, talking. I can't believe well, that you came here and, and tried to accuse me of infidelity. Man, you are sad, bro. You being a whole woman right now. Talking about I'm up. cheating? Talking about all of this ass Joke. I ain't got time it's to be It's not a joke! Listen. He don't want the truth to come out about him and things that he's done. But it's OK for him to discuss me or to kick me while I'm down or talk about my infidelity like it's humorous or something like that. It's like a lot of things that he has put my wife and I threw by him lying and misleading. No, we don't even have a friendship no more. Hey, things time to go. I don't know where it goes from here. All I know is that intentionally trying to hurt my family and myself after I've always tried to be there in those situations, this is tough. What the f man? Not that bad. But I'm freezing. <laughs> hey, baby girl. Hey. But so with everything that's going on, first, I just kind of want to vent to my wife. Martel is saying ridiculous things. I'm not sure what his intentions are. All I know is that this has the potential to be destructive. And I don't want Tisha hearing this through someone else. Kids, upstairs, now. I'm not handing out spankings. I'm biting legs. <laughs> yeah. I've got a drink for everybody. <laughs> Why? Was it that bad? Well, let's start this. <laughs> well, I can't be drinking. I have a lot of stuff I need to do. I don't want to get tired. So, I had a conversation with Martel today. How did that go? I was blindsided. Like, like he had all this hostility against me. So we're talking about the 47 acres. And then he's like, uh, you guys are taking shots on me. 
You got, Who? Wait, 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 wait. He's like, he's like, you're kicking me when I'm down. He said, I had a little infidelity issue. It was one person. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay. He said, she said, it was one person, but I'm not getting on y'all because y'all had like 20 girlfriends. Who, you? Me. 20 girlfriends? Oh my God. Wait, what did you say? Well, I, you know what? I, you know, my, my thought was when, when he said it, I'm shocked. I'm like, your whole thought process is that I went down and I want to tear everyone else down. Why would you just let him say that, though? See, see, because he can use his mouth, he can say whatever he want to say. I cannot believe this conversation. I don't, I don't know. If I hear it again, that means there's some truth in it. When my, when, my, when my integrity is, uh, when it's time, my integrity will stand, you know, it'll stand the test. <sighs> Next on Love and Marriage Huntsville. It's the personal issues that are keeping us from moving forward. So why are you upset? You're a liar. And I, I expect that from you. You more than a liar than I am. Well, our recommendation is a dissolvement of the combat group. She wasn't doing the simple things that I was asking her to do. So that's your excuse? That was. Letitia thinks that Martell is the only man in the universe, I guess, that cheats. Honey, she has another thing coming. When your husband's at the bar at 5, 6 in the morning, you might want to roll up to the bar, honey. I know my husband is faithful. Is there any truth to 20 girlfriends? Baby, I can't answer that for you. 